something happened today that reinvigorated the hope that I have that Outlaws is going to turn out to be a great game once it comes out of early access. The ever elusive developers have finally broken their silence and they gave us a sneak peek into some things that we can expect for the future of the game. All of this information is available for you to see on the official Outlaws Discord in the general chat channel. I do have permission to use these images and information, but you should go read through the conversation on the Discord nonetheless. So I'm going to cycle through the images that were given to us while I talk about what the conversation entailed. Ashton Anderson aka Smashton on the Outlaws official Discord started off the conversation by letting us know that a lot of time, three weeks he said, went into bringing the single player game mode from running on 16 gigs on your computer all the way down to running on 4 gigs on your computer. It had something to do with removing the fact that single player had to start up its own server in order for you to play. And he followed up by saying that next month's patch is geared towards new materials and items and assets that they wanted to add to launch but needed time to implement. So I'm going to show a list of those items here. There are quite a few. My favorite definitely being the clay and the mud for adobe structures. It was one of the things I suggested and I'm so happy to see it making it to the game. Something interesting is that gemstones were mentioned here. There's kind of some speculation going around that maybe shovels will be used to dig up gemstones. Uh, as well as, let's see, we have paleo drug cactus or knockout juice. We have venom acquired from different things like frog snakes and scorpions. Um, and then it goes on to say, let's see, bars. So uh, tin bars, copper bars, bronze bars, steel bars, all types of meat, all types of fish and materials for dye making. So we're gonna be able to make dyes and silver bullets that do more damage, which is pretty interesting. Smashton also talked a little bit about gold panning, which is something that made me open my eyes a little bit because I had also suggested maybe we can have like a gold panning mechanic. He said that if they were to use a mini game other than the mini game they use for fishing, they might have to think about restructuring the whole thing a little bit, but that it's definitely on their list of things that they want to do. Beyond resources, Smashton also talks about structures and workbenches, including uh, improving the silo to generate grain and feed for livestock, uh, furnaces with fuel slots for coal, storage slots for the mats to go to once they appear from being broken down, so like a pistol would turn into iron bars. Uh, we have poison arrows, which drain stamina, drain water, possibly drains food, and of course causes damage. Fire arrows, a building decay system, which would not be present on single player or privately hosted servers, which would require a repair hammer. Uh, we have gold plated repair hammer, a shovel system with road building in question marks. This is something else that I was super excited to hear was being considered. And then additional items, barrel boring. I'm not sure what barrel boring is. Does that mean creating barrels? Um, this was a mesh that we pulled off of the gunsmith table. At one point you talked about having it as a separate bench. So maybe a barrel making bench. Uh, glass containers, a mortar and pestle, syrup tap for like maple syrup, washing machine, washing tub, and wine making, wine press, which I'm super excited about. And now we get to some more really interesting stuff, which is wanted dead or alive NPCs. So the map would need to show the location of the player. It looks like these are notes. Now that I'm reading over it again, it looks like these are like uh, developer notes kind of jotted down. Um, water tower, irrigation system for farms, horse riding, including AI bandit horse riding, solo and pairs. Can you imagine if these bandits were on horses? Uh, hidden loot, they spawn randomly and vanish when used. So it's like a supply box or loot crate. Uh, smashed up cart spawns anywhere, looting cart spawns anywhere, so I'm imagining something similar to what we see with the bandit camps having uh, carts where we can go and loot them. A uh, fisherman's boat spawns on coasts of water sources and a crashed balloon. Wow, that's pretty cool. Spawns anywhere. So I went through this convert, or I went through this um, <laughs> discord text one time earlier while I was half asleep and uh, now that I'm reading over it again I'm opening my eyes to a few things that I might have missed. Um, oh, bait system. So worms, scorpions, banana slugs, stink bugs can be used for bait for fishing. So it looks like they have a lot of things in place as far as basics for systems. They just haven't gone into developing them completely. For example, the grain silo, we have access to it, but it still doesn't make grain or feed for the animals yet. So they haven't completely finished that. And now I'm going to talk a little bit about the beautiful art that we've been seeing. These are the new player models we're going to be getting at some point in the future. 
just want to remind you there are no dates on any of this, just um, the fact that we're going to be getting this sometime. So these are the new male and female player models. They're all going to be new. Uh, the clothes for them are all going to be remeshed and we're going to get models such as all of these hats and hairstyles and skirts and boots and female clothing. We're finally getting female clothing. The community has been asking for female clothing for a really long time and it looks like they've been working on it for quite some time. They just didn't let us know that it was in the cards. So this is so important that a developer is coming forward and kind of saying, hey, you know, we've got this, things are coming, we're still here, don't give up on us. That pretty much wraps it up for this really quick update video. I just want to mention that Smashin said that the devs are going to try and be more active on Discord and try and involve the community a little bit more, which also I think is another great move, so I'm excited to see how that turns out for them. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below about getting all of this new information and also hearing from the developers of the game for the first time. I really have to say I am really excited to see these ideas come to life inside the game. This little bit of info seems to be just what we needed. Thank you so much for watching this video. If I sound a little bit tired, it's because it is almost 1.30 in the morning, but I was just so excited after seeing this news in the Outlaws Discord, I had to start my computer back up and make a video about it. I hope it sheds some light on what we can expect in the future of Outlaws, and speaking of that, I am running a private server called Replica's Roost. It's a little bit quiet right now, but I'm sure it's going to pick up when some of these updates start coming to fruition, so feel free to check it out by joining my Discord server, which is linked in the description box down below. That is it for me. If you all liked this video, please leave it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already. So as always guys, enjoy your games, and I will see you all in the next video.